Today we're going to make scones. Again, in Granny's kitchen, this is a great favourite. First of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about the tray. These cheap trays make the best scones. I have a very heavy tray, but it makes the scones a bit hard on the base. So I much prefer these ordinary non-stick trays that you can buy very, very cheaply in supermarkets. First thing to do is switch your oven on at 205. The scones will actually cook at 200, but when you open the oven, you lose quite a lot of the, the heat at 205. Once it heats up, it will be turned down to, to 200. Now, scones are really, really easy, but I do confess that different ovens sometimes give different results. So first of all, I'm going to make a double batch. I'm going to use a pound of flour. So in my trusty scales, I'm going to weigh out one pound of flour. Now, I hardly put any sugar in them at all. I, I, the recipe usually asks for about four ounces, but I, I just put in one tablespoonful of sugar because I, I don't like over sweet scones. You can also put in a little pinch of salt, just a tiny little pinch of salt, and I'm going to sieve all those ingredients into a bowl. Not for any reason other than just making sure there's no kind of lumpy bits of sugar and things at, at the bottom. I always use butter for scones. I don't use margarine at all in, in cooking. Roughly about three ounces. Add it into the flour. Now, as I mentioned before, your hands are never out of water. So basically all you're going to do now is just rub very, very gently between your thumb and four fingers the butter into the flour until it resembles very, very fine breadcrumbs. Again, you don't want to overwork it. And it does take maybe about two to three minutes just to make sure all the butter is rubbed in. It's beginning to resemble very, very fine breadcrumbs. If I were making cheese scones, I wouldn't put any sugar in, but I would maybe add a big spoonful of Parmesan cheese. But I'm making sweet scones that I can use with jam and cream. And that's that bit ready. Just got the hands done again. I'm going to be using uh, about half a pint of milk and two eggs. So into the jug. I may need to add a little bit more milk later, but it tends to work depending on the size of the egg. Um, half pint of milk, two eggs. Some people make scones without eggs, but I prefer to put eggs in mine. Whisk up the eggs, ready to go into the mixture. You can do this with a handheld beater as well. It's actually quite easy to do with a fork. Then let's have a, yet another wooden spoon. You can do this with your hand as well, but a spoon's fine. So basically, just make a, a well in the centre of your scone mixture and just add, don't add it all at once, just in case there's just a bit too much. Add most of that mixture and just stir in, because basically you're just wanting a nice pliable soft dough um, and again there's no real secret to this it's just a case of look, just keep checking every so often you want to leave a little mixture though for covering the top of the scones before baking and when you think it's a workable dough mixture you're just ready to turn that out onto the board the secret is not to overwork your mixture at this stage but make sure all the flour is actually mixed in. The mixture is actually better slightly on the soft side because you can actually work in more flour as you're using your cutter for your scones. That's about right and I've left enough to cover the mixture and I'm just going to take some flour out here just put it at the side of my board because I will have to keep doing this. I put a little on my tray as well, not too much. My oven is heating up nicely. Put a little on the hands as well because I'm just I'm now about to turn this out onto the board. Now this particular mixture will make about 12 medium sized scones and there's lots of recipe books that you can add different things to scones. I tend to make cheese scones or plain scones. You can put some fruit in if you want a sultana scone. So make sure you work the dough really lightly. Do not overwork this or it will just go horribly hard. Okay, so once you've got it in a kind of pliable state, stick your cutter and just Take out your, cut out your 12 scones. Looks like I might even get 13 out of this this time. With the egg mixture you have left, just gently just tap the top of each scone 
And if you were making cheese scones, you would put some grated cheese on the top. Hands in the water again. Uh, I mentioned it has to be 205 because when you open the door, you're losing some heat. But as soon as it's at 205, you open the door, put the scones in and then turn that down to 200 and they bake for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, out of the oven and you can cool them on a wire tray to cover them up ready. Oh, yeah. 